people are talking about it nationally like, oh, wait a minute. Our food's poisoning us? Yes. And then so is the vaccine or the drugs that you take as a response to it. And it's just this big cyclical disaster. Yeah, Barb, I'll get you the names here in a second. Um, it's just this big disaster. Um, here, I'm putting them in now so I don't forget because I'm easily distracted. That is, um, Barb, that is the, the Casey, that is the female, the doctor who left her job as a doctor. Her brother is Callie. But if you find the one, you'll find the other. Um, <clears throat> but... <clears throat> At any rate, the conversation is is spreading like so many other things. People are starting to realize mm, we're not as free as we used to be. Mm, our taxpayer dollars don't get used the way they should. And oh, by the way, we're not healthy. And why are we not healthy? Because all the crap that we eat has been tainted for decades upon decades upon decades. And you, t I mean, think about this. 75% of the FDA's budget comes from Big Pharma. You think of the food industry back in the day and, and all these big food companies. You know, you know who came up with, for, forget what I'm saying, you know who came up with the food pyramid? Remember the food pyramid? Oh, yeah. You know the answer. The cigarette companies. Yes. <laughs> they, were, they were catching hell for, for obvious health reasons related to cigarettes, but had done some amazing lobbying and campaigning. So the food companies went to them and said, well, how about we do this? And they came up. The whole thing is garbage. Like, it's all freaking unhealthy propaganda that has led our country to the point where we are where we are. And in some of your cases, you have loved ones that are no longer here because of it. I mean, it's, it's that devious. All that to say, this is the longest lead up ever <laughs> so this interview comes out there's lots of hubbub and discussion about is our government trying to kill us yes they are and and time magazine drops we don't have the headline but i uh, but i have it time magazine drops a new edition the cover with a mountain of processed foods with dyes food dyes in it i'm looking at blue pretzels i'm looking at fruity pebbles other snack mixes all this ultra processed food and their headline, what if ultra-processed foods aren't as bad as you think? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? There's no way. You look into any of these things. You can pick one ingredient. Forget the fact that some of these products have 60 ingredients you can't even pronounce. You can take one ingredient and do a deep dive on it and be like, that is awful. That's, humans should never ingest that. <laughs> And that's what's in all these ultra processed foods. It's in it's some stuff that's not as ultra processed, but still just not good for you. And they have, I mean, that is how broken the system is where they're like, um, they're on to us. Somebody get, let's get time magazine time, run a piece. We'll get CNN to do something next week. We've got to let people know that we're on their side. We're just killing them. And that anything they hear to the contrary is clearly a lie. I mean, uh, I, I'm not surprised by this, and yet I'm flabbergasted by this headline, which again reads, let me just say it again, what if ultra-processed foods aren't as bad as you think? <laughs> what if dying a slow death, having 8 to 12 ailments, 8 to 12 medications, isn't as bad as you think? Right. <laughs> what if instead of dying next year, you could die in 13 years, but those 13 years would be miserable? I mean, it's an option. I mean, the, 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 this is just maddening. Oh, it's next level. And I understand the media. The media does not want. They, they don't want Republicans on the right side of issues. So they have to do everything in their power. Right. To say, oh, processed foods are totally fine. <laughs> You'll be good. Because a lot of the media, at least with, with the broadcast media, 78% of all their ad space or their ad buys or big pharma, yeah. So they they don't want to mess with the with the uh, golden goose that's laying right. all their eggs, so or the goose that lays the golden eggs. <laughs> so they're they're gonna they're gonna do whatever they can to make sure that we all stay sick because big pharma wants clients. Absolutely, <laughs> it's a it is a business, sick, twisted business. 
Yeah. I, I don't get it. Uh, th- this is what Casey um, means, who is the doctor who left, and I put the name in, in um, the chat earlier, said in response to this particular... I'm going to read it. I apologize. i got to look down at my notes here. This was her tweet. Mainstream media playbook, when the culture seems to be turning toward, all caps, health, rapidly spin up a bullshit article like this one that was published yesterday in time to, quote, uh, or semicolon, then there's a bunch of points. Seed confusion which, by the way, I think is maybe a cute pun on seed oils, which are awful for you in in almost everything you eat. Seed confusion. Confusion is key. It makes us doubt our convictions about healthy food. Key here is bringing experts who contradict the science and say it's sensationalized or impractical to implement. That is a big thing. Uh, we, We are the biggest thing that happened when all this food stuff was happening at the same time is it was a convenience thing. I've talked to my my folks about this is con- convenience kills a lot of times. It's it's like anything. You could go and get this cheaper Christmas tree here, but this lot's so close to your house, and yes, they're going to ass rape you and charge you whatever whatever the case might be. Convenience costs more, and it also in this case cost can cost your life because you're getting cheaper, easier foods. And a lot of people went that way. But she, anyways, I digress. She goes on. Number two, normalize. Talk about how nearly 80% of calories from ultra-processed food, so it can't be that bad, right? Ignore that 50% of children now have chronic disease. Use a meaningless anecdote like the author of the article, eating 80% processed food and feeling just fine. Three, distract and shut down discourse by bringing in social justice. Focus intensely on social justice issues, issues and questions of food access rather than science what could possibly could people possibly eat if we change the food system towards real food? She she kind of jests. Rather than focusing on any uh, meaningful solutions that are actually good for health and well-being of all people, focus on how the changing the current system would lead to more food insecurity. Don't mention that taxpayer money is what leads these foods to be cheap through corrupt subsidies. And we actually have a rigged system against people of lower socioeconomic status. That is actual social. That is an actual social justice issue. Don't mention that we could rapidly steer the billions of dollars processed food subsidies towards real food across for all Americans if there was a will to do so. And that's all true, by the way. The, the, there is some truth that, that poor communities struggle with this more and deal with disease more because they can't afford organic food, real food, good food. I've seen it firsthand. Yeah. There isn't one supermarket in the city limits of Flint, Michigan. Yeah, I was. It was astonishing to me. Well, and even if that particular, if there was one, the higher quality items that are actually good for you and have the nutrients and the nutritional value that you need, that level of income family is not going to buy it. They're going to buy the sugary cereals, the ho hos, the the processed meats. The all you know, they're going to buy all that stuff. That and that is the problem. And they brought up in this interview, which I thought was great too, is. You know, the food stamp program and all these subsidize some of these other products and and money, the way that money's spent there. It's like, how about we just don't do that and we just make good food? Can't have that. Yeah. <laughs> how about we do what Europe does and say these ingredients are all prohibited because they're literally cancer causing ing- ingredients like. Right. Make a whole lot more sense. Well, when you go to the dentist and they put fluoride on your teeth, they tell you to spit it out. Yeah. And we're supposed to think that fluoride is good to ingest in the water supply? Yeah, everywhere. Uh, Even though it's used as mind control and was used in mind control by the Nazis in concentration camps to keep people docile. There There you have it. There you have it. She continues on. Number four, minimize the science mentioned, but then quickly minimize the innumerable studies that say ultra processed foods impair hormones, metabolic health, and are associated with early death. Five, definitely don't mention conflicts of interest. Certainly don't talk about funding sources and conflicts of interest at NIH, USDA, FDA, academia, or the news outlet that's published in the article and then just says don't fall into the trap. Man, I tell you what. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm glad you, Krista just sent this headline. I'm glad she did because I, I, I saw this the other day myself, and it's ridiculous. So they talk a lot about uh, seed oils, which – Everyone uses because they're cheap and easy to get and awful for you. It is, it is, they're not just, it's not just a cheap cooking oil, guys. They're manufactured 
and it's like putting <laughs> I, I forget the example it's like it, it, it's it's horrible for your body but you have the American Heart Association who came out. There's a headline, an article from there that says, there's no reason to avoid seed oils and plenty of reasons to eat them. Of course it is. They go out of business if you're healthy. Right. This is like what you put in, in engines, not your body, which you can say, yes, but my body is an engine. Not that kind of engine, sweetheart. It's not that kind of engine. Mike Lindell here, and like you, I see our country being destroyed daily. We face massive economic issues, and I can tell you from firsthand experience, there are people in power who threaten the values that have made our country great. Well, I've been a believer in gold and silver for a long time, and I've searched for years for a partner that shares my values. Well, Genesis Gold Group showed me how easy it is to protect your IRA, 401k, or your retirement with gold and silver. Their faith-driven approach to service and stewardship is one that stands out from the rest. To get your free definitive gold guide and get started learning more about investing in gold and protecting your retirement from uncertain times, visit treasureandtrust.com now. Fill out the basic contact form and a member of the team will be in touch. Again, that's treasureandtrust.com or call 855-625-7760.